Hi, it's Paul from Hobbylink International. It's been a while since I made a review video, so, so I thought I'd best get back into the groove of that and try and remember how I make them. Um, so don't forget, the subscribe button is down there. Do subscribe to the video, get notified of all the future videos. Don't forget as well, the thumbs up and the thumbs down things are there, and whichever one you use still counts as an interaction and helps boost the video. Um, especially the person who seems to like coming in every day and giving a thumbs down video to all the videos I'm bringing over from Model Builder International, but whatever. Uh, so today we're going to look at, uh, this is a pretty new kit from Clearprop, one we sell in the shop. Our pricing is pretty competitive, most as good as anything out there, especially if you go to our website, uh, the shop, our shop. I'll put the link underneath anyway, go have a look. And I've, yesterday I added a whole bunch of add-ons to that. It's a cheaper way to get things like photo etch and resin parts than ordering them separately. Anyway, we're going to look at clear props. Uh, 172nd LA5. Okay, so let's have a look, see what's inside the box. First off, the box itself. Uh, colour schemes on that side. Some info on here. Basically the kit is, what, 12 centimetres by 14 centimetres, what's that, 4 by 5 inches almost, 4.5 inches. 97 plastic parts, 39 photo etch parts, 3D renders on the back. This is kit 72014, the LA5 early version from Clearprop. This is an advanced kit, they have three levels of kit, beginner, advanced and expert. Advanced means there's going to be some photo etch in here, which you saw on the side. Um, advanced kit adds resin parts to it as well. So let's have a look inside. Uh, instructions, colour, glossy paper, paints called out in ammo. Uh, someone used parts, obviously the early version means probably going to be a late version coming as well. Um, they seem pretty good, pretty straightforward. Colour cutouts where needed. You've got three decal schemes, basically the same paint, <coughs> the same paint on all of them. Just the decals are different, and some standard stencils for all three as well. And then um, we'll go through those in detail in a second. So now we'll go through. See what's inside the bag here. So we have got a fair bit actually. So to start with, just because it's handy, oh, the uh, PE's got a plastic backing sheet. There's your decals as well as an instrument panel. Um, that looks pretty neat. Um, uh, the canopy clear, it looks like uh, yeah, separate parts. Um, okay, uh, so the main sprue with the fuselage halves. Um, there's no, not seeing, is there? Wow, well, it's hard to see, but I think there is indeed. There's alignment pins on here though, they're really fine though. When we have a look at the close-up photographs, so I'll, I'll see that there, but I can feel the raised pins and I can see a couple of holes there. Um, panel instrument, uh, cockpit sidewall detail there. There's some engine detail, I think that's cockpit floor. Wheels in two halves. Hello. They also have, uh, I think there's resin wheels you can get for this as well. There's some smaller parts, propeller, propeller hub, landing gear has uh, detail on the on the inside there. Bombs come in two halves. The seat has detail on it as well. So basically lots of fine detail on here, on the, even on the small parts. 
uh, wings, solid, one solid piece on the bottom. And there's, you can see there's panel lines on here and rivets as well. There's raised detail as well, I can feel under my finger there as well. Um, got a nice, looks like a fabrics, fabric sort of feel they're trying to give here with, on the ailerons. So that's good. And it looks pretty neat actually. A little bit of careful painting to bring that up and it would show up quite nicely. Um, just looking for, again, there's, yeah, there's two alignment, there's alignment pins on here as well. So that's pretty neat. And then there's these parts in a separate bag. Um, we got, uh, looks like the, the rudder is in two halves, it looks like. And then undercarriage legs, more undercarriage legs, but we seem to have already had undercarriage legs over here. So I'm kind of thinking that, uh, yeah, the the undercarriage legs on this sprue are not used. So that's basically, I think this is what's happening is, these two sprues make it the early version. These, this sprue is like the, uh, the generic version, should we say. Um, and yeah this turns it into the into the early version maybe that's just the late version we'll see when the late version comes out i guess but it all seems to be there really nice alignment pins unlike the earlier kits which didn't have alignment pins um very nice detail so um and this as i said you've got the photo etch there's no resin in here um they do offer extra, there's was it, landing flaps, resin wheels, canopy masks, uh, extras. Um, what I'm going to do on the shop is I'm going to do a bundle of this advanced kit with all the extras and bundle it all together and it'll save shipping, basically give you an, ad, an expert level kit with all the extras um, without all the extra shipping. Um, okay, let's have a look at the instructions in a bit more detail, have a, have a really good close up look at uh, at some of the parts. The Lavochkin LA-5 was a Soviet fighter aircraft of World War II. It was developed from the LAGG-3, replacing the earlier model's inline engine with a much more powerful radial engine. It was the first Soviet fighter to be roughly capable of fighting German designs on equal footing. Um, it was, you say, mechanically simpler. The German aircraft were more advanced technically, but nonetheless, this gave the Soviet Air Force a chance of fighting the Luftwaffe on equal terms. By the end of the war, um, almost 10,000 examples had been built and it first came into service in July of 1942. There's been a few kits of the LA-5 out in previous years in 172nd, but not, not much in the way of recent kits. Uh, kits with multiple reboxings are the KP kit from 1986, VES in 1993, and Italieri, which started in 1972. The Italieri one's probably what you might be more familiar with, as those models were used by Ravel and Zvezda. AML released a kit in 2007, and Prop and Jet released a resin kit in 2005. That one was the best of the bunch from what I can see. Clearprop's kit sets basically the bar a lot higher with um, a lot more detail, a lot more refinements to it. This kit is an advanced kit, which means that in addition to the plastic, there's some photo etch inside. Um, the kit comes in a standard end opening cardboard box. All parts are inside a resealable bag with various parts inside their own bags as well. P for it has a cardboard backing sheet and the packaging is pretty good overall. Inside the box there's 97 plastic parts, 39 photo etch parts, decal sheet and a 10 page glossy paper instruction sheet. Um, in addition to the kit itself, um, I will say Clearprop have released uh, add-on parts to go with this. Um, there, we sell those on our shop as well as this kit. There's um, uh, flaps, uh, resin wheels, 
resin exhaust and also painting masks available. Um, the best way to get those is go to the shop and I've set it up so that you can bundle things together to get these add-ons at a cheaper price than actually buying them as standalone items. Okay, let's have a close-up look at some other parts as we go through the instructions. Starting with step one, the instrument panel. Basically that's plastic, you put a decals sheet on, then you put some photo etch over the top, as also with the photo etch parts. Step two, a simple one seat, uh, one part seat. There's photo etch seat belts to go on it though. Step three, doing the firewall at the back of the seat. And step four, um, putting the seat flying controls onto the base of the cockpit a few more photo etch parts in there and then step five is just bringing the main three assemblies together the floor the cockpit the instrument panel and the back wall and all um, with some careful painting you should have a pretty decent uh, cockpit for this scale step six is again i think this is working on the Starboard, nope, the port side of the cockpit, adding some plastic and some photo etch parts to give more detail on there. Down to step seven, and you're working on the starboard side of the cockpit wall. And again, adding a few more plastic parts and some more photo etch as well to add more detail. Again, basically, this is going towards adding a, having quite a nice amount of detail in the cockpit. Okay, on the next page, start with step eight, we put the two fuselage halves together. Between the two fuselage halves, we tra trap the cockpit we've built, we also trap the engine as well. Um, we won't be able to see too much of that, but the, so the detail is good. Um, two part rudder goes on the back with some nice um, detail that reproduces the fabric. Um, one part goes on for the cowling where the guns are. I'm just wondering if that part is separate part rather than the fuselage halves so that way if they do the Lochkin 7 and 9 the 9 had different armament to the 5 and 7. Um, with that exhaust um, engine exhaust bits going as well should be pretty straightforward. Down to step 9 um, don't forget to drill a couple of holes in this if you're going to do under wing bombs but a uh, single uh, lower wing two part upper wing there was some very fine alignment pins to, uh, to help you get things lined up and the ailerons also have some nice fabric detail on them as well. Over the page, step 10, add the wings to the main fuselage and also add, uh, add the two parts of the tail as well. And the first parts, first clear parts go on as well and the gun side. Um, down to step 11, building the, uh, the air intake underneath, that's going to go underneath the engine and also the two main fuselage halves. Uh, the wheels are in um, two halves, so you can get resin wheels for these as well. Over the page, step 13 is the other main undercarriage leg. There's actually quite a few parts um, for these as well. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven parts for the leg itself, but then two parts for the wheel. Step 14 is the tail wheel. Again, a little bit of photo etch on there. There's sprinkling a photo etch throughout the landing gear. Down to step 15, um, adding the main undercarriage legs, the tail wheel. If you wanted to put underwing bombs on, this is the time to put those on. They're actually made from two parts and what's that, about five parts of photo etch as well, so or six parts. So they're quite nicely detailed and will probably stretch the limit of your eyes a little bit. And the uh, under engine um, air cooling that goes on as well. And onto the last page, um, step 16, putting the propeller together, also the parts that go behind the propeller, which covers up most of the engine that you can see inside. And then step 17, the last parts, attach the propeller to the aircraft, um, attach the canopy, um, pitot tube, aerial, and that's it finished. Painting and decals. Okay, so the paints are all called out in the ammo range and you get uh, three decal options. All of them have exactly the same painting scheme though, uh, just some variations in the decals. The decals themselves, they don't show up very well because on screen because most of the decals are actually white. Um, 
but there's enough there to go on and you also get a set of stencils as well. Okay, an overall conclusion. So straight out the box you can put together actually quite a nice uh, kit of Hulvachian 5. Very finely um, recessed panel lines, um, lots of nice detail, especially in the cockpit. Um, of course, should be quite nice, and you get a, a fair amount of photo etch as well to um, make things look a little, a little neater and a little finer. Um, it's easily the the most modern and easiest to get hold of. The only thing that could probably might be able to compete with it is the resin kit from a few years ago, which had uh, extra photo etch as well. This one is just way simpler and better designed. Um, don't forget, you can also get landing flaps and resin exhausts and resin wheels for this as well as optional extras. If you're thinking of doing those it's easiest to buy them all at the same time and just pay for one shipping cost. Um, don't forget you can, and you can get that from our shop where it automatically reduces the prices. Um, other than that, very nice little kit um, and I believe it's doing quite well for Clearpop. They've already sold out the first production run and they're now um, selling kits from their second production run.